Hi YouTube, welcome back. Visti here and this is my S22 Ultra Exynos 2200 but running the One UI 5.0 Beta 2 Android 13. Wow, very long announcement but it's been a while. I did one of those Samsung Galaxy stock application update videos and 27 of them. So let's have a quick glance and what we have right now maybe make and poke some fun at Samsung for not providing some proper change logs or if they manage at the end to provide some nice change logs Ha! Huh. Good luck guys, just pay attention the brand new good luck in 3, 2, oh my god For some of the apps we're gonna test this first thing is the voice recorder okay, version here is from the August yeah, no proper change log at all then we have Samsung Music Yep, there is a change log here. Seems to be now fully working for One UI 5, but we have to check that one. Samsung account, guys, it's the next application. What is new? Now creating a new account or logging in requires two-factor authentication. I think that's all, but I might be wrong. New version also for the Samsung internet browser, 18.04.11. Provides an option to move the URL bar to the bottom only if you are rich and have a full device and supports open links from other apps in secret mode, okay? Interesting, nearby device scanning. What is new? Smart alerts for a battery pop-up during video playback, downloading, pairing guide image from cloud and optimize SPP connection time. This sounds not like a bad update. Secure Wi-Fi also updated version 8.4.0.0.1 from the 16th of September, which is actually today, right? But okay, no change log there. Also tips have been updated. I really hope so. Um, the version is from the 2nd of September. Samsung Notes, one of the best applications if you really have a ultra phone with a pen. Version from 6th of September, almost 80 megabytes, 4.3.14.46 but no proper change log, so we don't know really what they updated. Samsung Pass, okay, no updates there. All the field, you know, it's just not worth mentioning those. The authentication framework, I think that's clear. Samsung Global Goals, guys. UI improvement, stability improvement. Version here is 29006 from the 14, and it's 53 megabytes. The link to the Windows service, and now my cat comes again in the picture. Crapola, <laughs> constantly crashing, can disable, can uninstall. Yes, we have to deal with bloatware. Okay, no change log there. Version 25027 from the end of August, only four megabytes, so let's try to update this. Expert role, creating some headlines already. And there is actually a proper change log. It now supports for custom preset. The version is from the end of August, 20003, 51 megabytes. This perhaps we can test. And then we have also a better update for the Samsung Video Library only because I, like I told you in the beginning, am using One UI 5. And guys, now look at how many modules do we have. Theme Park, Fantastic, Lockstar, Kiss Cafe, One Hand Operation Plus, Home Up, Good Luck, oh my God. Thermal Guardian, Memory Guardian, and also the Good Guardian apps. And guys, they do all have new versions. And yeah, there is also a proper change log, for example, for the theme park. Now you are able to change all apps icons and fixing color palette to extract color from image. That's not bad. Fantastic, he fixed an error of the app termination in One UI 5 device. Lockstar, version 30030, fixed to remove an internal error. So again, I have a feeling that all of those good luck modules now finally are optimized to really work on the One UI 5. The Keys Cafe, wow, optimized for One UI 4.1.1. New features, by the way. One Hand Operation Plus, let me just see if there are any news here, version 5.6. 25 improve floating navigation, apply theme color on quick tools and fix duplicate vibration issue, other stability improvements. So again, some of those good luck modules have been optimized to work under One UI 5, which is still in the beta 2. Some really are made to work under One UI 4.1.1. Now let's check home up, guys. The previous version supported One UI 4.1.1, which means it will run on my flip and now some errors has been fixed. Okay, so let's say those are only like some stability and bug fix updates, no new functionality. The good luck manager itself also has been updated. All right, version 22436, change categories with makeup and life up makeup. The plugins you make for your device more aesthetic. Okay, that's interesting. Let's try to update that one, okay? Then we have Thermal Guardian. Okay, no updates there. I guess the same is going to apply also for the Memory Guardian. Yeah, no change up there. Versions are from the beginning of August and also a new update version of Good 
Guardians, which is actually a tool I guys always recommend when you update your firmware, launch Good Guardian and actually try to optimize your apps. All right, guys, installation has finished and I decided to show you two things that, you know, what I say always in my videos, the hand shall touch, the eye should see and else, I mean, yeah. Ha, huh. good luck, guys. Just pay attention. The brand new good luck in three, two, oh my God. Oh my God, that's really beautiful. I really like this animation. I'm not sure why. For some people, that's too much. But see, see guys here, even the icons, they rotate. 3D looks different and still the same, by the way. Let, let, okay, I have to do this one more time. I just, I just like, I just love it, guys. Let me just show something else. I think this is really going to be the new One UI 5 design language. See here, guys, when I start a weather, boom, very nice animation. Sometimes you have sun, sometimes you have coffee, sometimes perhaps a stronger drink, but it's it's very nice let me just open good luck again so that we can all enjoy this beautiful beautiful animation wow cool see this thing dropping here crazy all right let me just check something guys i want to see the good luck credits these guys like sally gene alicia cindy jung brandon incubating and all of those guys really are the best really thumbs up for you guys you are really making a huge change theme park fantastic wonderland lockstar Kiss Cafe, Navstar, Home Up, Clockface, Quickstar. And by the way, see now, they also changed the categories here. We have Makeup and we have Life Up. So let me just open Live Up. Wow, nice shot. Again, Sound Assistant, Naughty Star. All of this, you know, just sprinkles, rotates. Thumbs up to Samsung for doing this. And then the second thing is going to be Expert Role. Now remember, they said custom preset. So let's say guys, I want to change something, you know, I'm going to just change some of the settings. Okay. Boom. Is this, this button here? I'm going to press the plus and yes, it is guys. Yes, it is. And you see, by the way, it all looks very, very nice. Again, I told you guys like this thing here might be or might not be, but I really hope it's going to be the One UI 5 design language. I'll press rename and now guys, I will create it. So I have now a custom here preset and I can try to create a new one, create. And you know the beauty of it? Every time you change through those presets, guys, you see, they will become active. I'm a really big fan of these tiny changes. So every time you change one setting, the preset is not active, right? If you don't want to get your presets, guys, just click somewhere else on the viewfinder and they will be gone. If you want to have them back, just click here and you can select them and then you can just see all the settings will change. From all these 26 updates, guys, I think these two one really stand out. I'm really happy that you're still around, guys. I just reached 20K subs. Thank you very much for this. Please, you and your family stay safe until we meet in one of my next videos. And with that said, VST over and bye.